Hi lovelies, welcome to my life and tarot. I am Yane and in English it is still Jane and today I want to talk about cleansing and energizing the tarot decks or oracle decks or whatever deck of cards. Let me start with why I do it. So I believe in energy residue that everything and everyone leaves behind. We touch something or do something and put our energy into something and it lingers there or it leaves a mark like a fingerprint which is visible sometimes not but it is still there so when even only I use my cards myself after a while when I do readings or, for example, when I let the client shuffle or, or divide the cards themselves, for a while or sometimes immediately after, it goes by how I feel usually. I cleanse my deck of cards and I want to share some ways I am doing it and also after cleansing how to power up or energize the cards. Although there are strong believers that cards are a piece of paper, which they are, but the paper is made out of tree pulp and it contains water so it has memory somewhat everything contains something water and so things get stuck to items the energy can get stuck to items and cards are items also so usually when I get used deck of cards like when I trade cards sometimes I don't need to cleanse them because the energy that the previous owner left into them is suitable for me or even is enhancing the the deck itself for me so but sometimes when I get a deck I feel immediate need to cleanse sometimes more than once so let's get to it first the cleansing so cleansing basically it's like cleansing crystals but without the running water part so you can take the i have incense here you can take the cards fan them out and and sift through the incense smoke for example and put your mind into it think that I will cleanse them now the cards are clean etc it is your own choice what you choose to think then of course the all universal cleansing agent the sage sage 
is suitable for placing the deck of cards perfectly so again you just go through the cards or you can take a feather and just sift it on the cards that you have on the table or wherever on the altar when I have my cards all laid out there on blocks sometimes when more people come through this place then I just go over the decks and I wind some some or blow some some of the smoke on the cards so next what you can use like the elemental cleansing which is earth fire air and water for the earth you can use either black salt or the pink salt the coarse uh, sea salt suits as well but I prefer to use either pink or black and you take your cards and you just put some salt on the cards for a while and you may say I will cleanse you with earth and make sure you are not using this salt again that you have spread on the cards but you have to throw it either outside or flush it down you don't put it in the trash but you can't use it again because it has taken as the salt is crystal form it has taken some of the debris from the cards within itself and now it's contaminated so to speak and you have to get rid of it next this was the earth the candle sift your cards through the fire make sure you're not burning your cards and you may say that i will cleanse my cards with fire then for the air element you can use the sage or the the like i already showed the incense smoke and just blow it on the cards and say i will cleanse my cards with air and the next water now pay attention you don't want to get your deck wet because it's not good for your deck but for the water element you can use either the crystal water the spring water from the natural spring not the bottle one or the holy water or the silver water which is also like holy water you can make holy water yourself when you speak to your water what you want it to be or to become so you take an only a little bit from afar you just either spray on the cards or or take a feather dip it in the water and gently gently spritz some water on the cards and then wipe it off and say i will cleanse my cards with water now we are through with all the elements what you can also do you can use sound cleaning or cleansing 
and I found that the singing bowl is the best for it. If you put your cards into the bowl and you just put the bowl either sing or or beat the bowl as long as you want and the sound vibration makes the cards clean and the sound vibration also already energizes the cards like loads them if you will so this or you can use whatever tool of music you have and music vibrations make everything energized including yourself so they activate this energy and you can do whatever you want improvise what suits for you this is how you do it and what I also use for energizing is the Palo Santo, not for cleansing, but for getting the energy back or you are like cleansing them blank and you want them to have some kind of life in them. So you can take the Palo Santo and energize your cards with this and yourself so you can cleanse yourself with sage and with the um, singing bowl and not only the cards you will get through this ritual ritual yourself and will be clean if you furthermore think that I will be cleansing myself also and etc. So I can't remember if I said why I do it because of the energy residue that everything leaves behind and sometimes when I've had really hard reading or I feel like like I need to cleanse my cards after this particular reading even if it's online reading then then I just do it because sometimes we put our thought into it and and when it's enough then they are like full or I can't I can't describe you you can feel you when your cards are overloaded with with everything residue in them so no matter if it's piece of paper no matter if it's piece of wood no matter if it's something handmade yarn something everything needs cleansing from time to time uh, especially when you get things that are used don't bring just everything into your house because you have no idea what's in the items you are introducing your home to or who has used them or whatever this this whole thing is why i cleanse just about everything they even say now i'm straying off from the cards but they even say that if you are ordering crystals from somewhere along the way they go through different paths and go from hand to hand and these people who handle the package have different moods and have different different thoughts and it may get stuck in here so 
if you get a crystal make sure you still cleanse it right after getting them another thing with crystals and decks also while decks you can shuffle and use and make spreads and readings with then crystals as decks when they are on the shelf they are doing nothing they are like useless items at that point so when you're working with crystals and you can apply that with decks then you have to assign it for something also if you want it to help you then ask then you have to ask or say what it has to help you with that's what you're doing when you're shuffling cards you're asking a question and that's why you get answers so if you're using crystals then you have to ha ask the question what you want it to help you with or to do for you purpose so is the cards purpose so you get the cards you think you will help me to get through that and that or get the best readings for clients and develop my skill etc so put your mind into everything you do and be aware if you don't or if you do try doing it if you haven't done it and observe the results this is the only way you can prove it to yourself if it's working or if it's not working for me it is working and this is how I do things in my life mindfully and with awareness so yeah this is a little thing I wanted to share with you and I hope you find this helpful or somewhat helpful so thank you for watching and bye